Hey guys, Omni here. If you missed my watch party for DC Fandom, you can still check that out on the channel, but I'm going to share with you guys my reaction and thoughts on the trailer for The Batman. Oh, there's Dano. Fear is a tool. Oh, he when broke the their spotlight bad. into a bat. It's not just a <laughs> Hear everything they say, ain't you? Maybe we're not so different. Who are you under there? Dude! Oh! <laughs> Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, he's chasing Penguin. March 4th. Holy hell, dude. Holy shit. That looks so good. I love that tune, that theme that they have with it. I, ooh, it gave me chills, man. So do they catch Riddler? And then he becomes this kind of like uh, Hannibal Lecter from Beyond the Glass while he set up this grand scheme of tearing down Gotham. Oh, it just looks so good. Still, they're keeping a lot of, uh, a lot of Riddler quiet behind the scenes in the dark and i like it i like his look i like the feel i like the feel of the movie i love the feel of the aesthetic the design all of it looks great i think robert pattinson's going to kill this role i think he's going to do a fantastic job i'm really excited to see andy circus and his take on alfred um uh zoe kravitz i think you know is a great pick for selena kyle so i'm excited to see what they do with her I feel like she's going to be more of a a proto uh, Catwoman, not necessarily all the way into that. Like, that's kind of like what they hit it at in the little discussion before the trailer. Um, but it's so dirty. It's so grimy. And then, you know, they had talked about that, that the Penguin was only going to be in a few scenes. But, like, we see him two times in two separate occasions in this trailer. And, uh, you know, that scene of him, like, thinking he got Batman and then... Hell no. I'm coming for you, little punk. I like that. Like, Batman is haunting. That hallway scene when he's in the catacombs or the sewer, wherever that was, and they're just unloading on him and it's just pinging off his chest, it just made me think of, like, Jason Voorhees, where he's just coming down this unstoppable thing. He's just taking people out left and right, and then these last two dudes are just, like, unloading into him, and he's just... He's just walking. He's not even trying to dodge the bullets. He just walks into them and just... Good cow! 
dude, it's it. Mm. Oh, it looks so good. They're holding back Riddler so much, and I'm just I want to see I want to see so much more of Dano's performance, and we've seen like none of it except for his voiceovers. We saw a quick little glimpse of uh, Jeffrey Wright's uh, Gordon, the Watcher himself. Uh, but yeah, the music, the vibe, the tone, the Gotham at at dusk or twilight as it turns to night was uh is gorgeous um what's black and blue and dead all over you or it's going to be you whatever whatever he said but is that actually him in the casing was that actually him that they arrested I, it looked like dano from the side from the profile um, the little coffee with the with the question mark in it as they carried that guy. Same glasses that we see on the outside of his like leather face covering that we've seen him wear in a lot of the promotional imagery. But when we panned into that suit where like Batman's banging all the thing trying to get his answers out of him, is that is that Riddler? Or is that somebody else he's trying to question who he thinks might have involvement in this whole thing there's also speculation that it has something to do with the court of owls which i could see definitely with this version of batman it leans into that aesthetic a little bit but i don't know it's going to be very noir focused detective focused with obviously a rougher around the edges batman who's still not really on his feet and i think it's the great a good really awesome setup to do this not quite year one not quite expert batman but this like blend of him getting into it and i think it's going to be fun i can't wait for this movie man it's actually sooner around the corner than i expected it to be march that's not that far away i'm excited guys i'd love to know your thoughts on the batman trailer so sound up the comments let me know your thoughts down below we'll carry on the conversation after the video you can also join our discord and follow me there Links to that and all my socials are down below. Before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Mandy Share, Ryan Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori Kurskov, Margaret Grace, Peeling Zim, and Mary Bradley. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's been DC Fandom. There's so much still to cover because there was a bunch of information dropped in that. I'm not going to make individual videos for every little thing. These are the main hot buttons that I wanted to touch on. So go check out my full length watch along for the event itself but guys that's it for now and i'll catch you all in the next one take care everybody